ही गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज विपिन कुमार एंड आई एम बैक विद अनादर वीडियो फॉर दी मॉक फाइल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस वॉट इज दी मॉक फाइल वाई डू वी रिक्वायर्ड मॉक फाइल एंड हाउ टू कंपाइल मॉक फाइल विथ पावर सेल बिफोर डिस्क्राइबिंग वॉट इज दी मॉक फाइल we need to understand why do we required mock file and simple answer is dsc engine whatever its power cell dsc chef or puppet read and implement desired state configuration on the target node that is written in standard syntax into mock file so next one is what is mock file mock file is a managed object format and mock file was defined by dmtf distributed management task force which is a vendor neutral organization that defines a structure way to describe a system and its properties to across all platform for dsc dmtf define the mock syntax and the format so that any vendor or system could implement it like microsoft powershell puppet or chef or ansible since the mock standard is a platform independent the configuration script you write can run on multiple operating system so you can run powershell dsc script on windows or linux or both you can manage the configuration of your system with powershell dsc using a single and consistent syntax you can have only one mock file applied to any target node at any point of time next point is that how to compile the mock file it is not necessary to use the powershell to compile the mock file you can use any third party tools or any dsc project or product to compile your mock file since powershell is highly admired mock standard so we will use powershell to compile mock file in this demonstration this is the powershell dsc script for the lamp environment setup i wrote down this script to set up and configure lamp on linux machine and we are going to compile this powershell dsc script into mock file we saved this file in demo folder so now let's compile this powershell dsc script into mock file run your powershell under admin privilege go to the folder in most of the documentation online they define how to convert your ps file into the mock file by using this command if you execute according the online documentation it should converted into the mock file if you look at it run and complete without any message or error message so what is the right way to convert the powershell into the mock file let me tell you open your powershell dsc script this is my powershell dsc script and you can see here i gave configuration name is lamp server copy that and compile your powershell with lamp server if you execute that it is going to convert your powershell script into mock file you can see a message that pse file has been converted into the 
mob file now if you look at the folder structure it created a folder called lamp server and in the lamp server it created a mob file this is the folder and in this folder it created a localhost.mob file since we gave the single node configuration in the powershell dse hence it created a single mob file for localhost suppose that if you define the multiple node in the dsc configuration file then compiler is going to create multiple mob file for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 mob file for 1 to 10 nodes now let me open the mob file and show you this is the mob file content and this content is readable by the dsc engine you can see here the target node is a local host who generated this is my user account the date and time of the generation on which machine it is generated this is my local machine and this is the dsc resource or desired state configuration that is going to implemented on the target node by dsc engine you don't worry about the mob file you can use any dsc to convert your powershell script into the mob file i hope you got a better understanding about the mob file in this video that's all thanks for watching have a nice day